Okay, so I'm working on a little mini digital camera. Look, you can see my face. And this is, I guess, a part two of my video, but I wanted to show you the progress that I made. So last time I couldn't get the button to work, but now you can take the photos by pressing the button and it actually saves to the SD card on the ESP32. And this is so fun to use. I miss old technology. Like I remember when I was a kid having like little gadgets and stuff to do things with and it was so fun. So I've been taking photos. Sometimes the lighting isn't great, so I need to figure out like how to manage the white balance. Sometimes the photos are a little dark. So I've been looking to like how to get a flash maybe, but that's a little complicated. Um, but here's the next steps for this project. It would be cool to show the preview of the, the images you took on the actual camera itself. Right now I have to take the SD card out, put it into my laptop, see the photos. It just takes too long. So just showing the preview here with some other buttons would be nice. There is a little bit of a delay now when I press the button and the photo being taken, and I think it's because I don't know how to program some of this stuff. It's a little complicated. The camera itself, the live preview feed, is a different photo format than the photos being saved onto the SD card. So if anyone knows anything about this, let me know, but I've been struggling with that. I want to eventually uh, build a case around this. I have some ideas. <laughs> there was this really cool like flip idea that I saw on a YouTube short that I liked. And then there was this other old camera called like a Casio something that looks like the old Totally Spies gadget. And I thought this would be so cool since the camera preview feed is like round, something around that would be nice. Oh, and most importantly, I wanna make it so that you can use this without having it being plugged in to the computer, right? That's what's getting the power right now. So I have a three volt battery that I bought and I bought a switch. So I'm gonna have it actually turn on via the switch. So I gotta actually just, I gotta just solder some stuff. So yeah, if you like this project, uh, make sure to follow me for part three.